Welcome back to Children of Morta, everybody. Uh, it has been a while. Uh, I think it's been a couple of weeks or so since we last played. Uh, so probably going to be a bit rusty. Um, but let's crack on. When This is going to be a super long stream, uh, probably an hour or two maybe. Uh, so we'll do, do a few runs and see how we go. I don't know what this circle is, so we're going to click it. I can't seem to click it. No, nope, that took us down. Let me go back up. There we go. <clears throat> it's a bit awkward to Never click on. Never before had the Bergson seen, nor had they heard, such a vast trove of myth and legends. They were so mesmerized by Apon's storytelling that they spent the whole night transfixed as her audience oh yeah so that's right the last thing we did was uh unlock the last playable character apon and we did the the most up-to-date hardest level we're up to which is ruins of old barahut with her and she got to level 12 of one at one attempt uh, we got to the boss and everything so we've got her at level 12, Lucy at level 13, uh, Joe is at 9, Linda's 14, John's 14, Kevin's 8, and Mark's 9. I think we all wanted to get them to whatever this is. Did Kevin get there in the end? He did. Okay. So we could get the, the passives and stuff. And then we're like, you know, focusing on the ones we want. So I'm actually going to go her again because I found her quite fun. Um, and let's try and remember the buttons. And see how far we get. Ruins of Old Barahut. Okay, so left click was that. Right click was the slow thing that you can hold down to uh, nuke into a, a more focused area. That's right. Uh, left shift... Oh yeah, that does that slows and pushes back or something, and then her control is her uh, her rage thing. All right. So the first the first run's no doubt going to be uh, a little bit rusty. Uh, hang on, what's dodge again? Space? Yes. And her space slows as well, from, mem uh, from memory. Her dodge, not her space. You know what I mean. Let's find that out if that's true. Yes, it is true. Oh, there be a boss. <laughs> they can't come in here. Oh, no, they can. I think about Okay, so that thing did a bit of damage. Yeah, we got a few nubbins. Okay, what is this? Charm. Grants you a shield which will protect you from a certain amount of damage. Okay, we'll save that until we need it. Because we don't have to activate it right now. I don't like these um deer thingies. Or, oh, sorry, they're not a deer. Rams? I'm not entirely sure what they are, but I don't like them. Uh, greatly increases crit chance. Uh, this isn't the boss level, so we may as well just take it now. There is the next level down, though. Okay, what does this do? There are several small bombs in front of you.
Oh, I'm trying to remember what the boss was. I remember kiting... Kiting it around and just dropping stuff on it, but that may have been the boss before. This one. I I'm, can't remember what the boss was. We are in aid of our health. I'd forgotten how, um... How much screen tearing there is in this game. Now, I got a comment on YouTube saying that, uh... They weren't seeing the screen tearing at all, which is good. If it's only me, that's that's totally totally fine. But uh, I'm definitely definitely getting some. Okay, this might be the end of the run right here, actually. No, not quite. We got our rage up. I can't remember what it does. And we leveled up as well. Okay, it's a good opportunity to take a look. Uh, rage would be this. No, this one. Uh, granting shield to herself in nearby Bergsons. Okay. Um, so we've got three points. Focus allows her to deal extra damage to slowed foes. Uh, yeah, let's go that. Sweet. So we could go to the next uh, level right now, but hopefully we can clear out some more stuff, get a bit more experience, and find some HP while doing so. The screen tearing is... I, I, I'm really glad it doesn't it doesn't show up because it's it's really fucking noticeable. Uh, instantly heals. Okay, perfect. Is that a? It is. With nothing in it, apparently. Oh shit. That damage to slow targets is so good. Let's take this. Now let's not try and use it all to kill this thing. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, that looks like it. 
let's um head to the next area. Okay, so the boss is at the end of this level so if we find a decent shrine or something we should save it we still have our charm to give us uh, a shield as well which is nice uh, is there any way to check that not really I don't know if it was on a timer or not oh god it's one of these goat things Got like a vortex to it, which was pulling me in the whole time. <clears throat> the damage increase, I, I think I said that just before, but okay, there's a healing shrine, that's good. From the slow thing is is huge. Like we're doing 15 to well, let's let's test it here. 19, 18, 22. Oh, well, we killed everything. So 18 to 22 as a as a rough kind of gauge. Up to 45. So it's like doubling the damage. So if you did this co-op, um, which eventually when they bring it out. So it's not uh, lo so it's not um, local play where you can actually play online co-op, and you combine her with someone that can slow constantly. I can't remember what what the other party members do off the top of my head. I know that uh, Linda, the archer, was really good with people who could stun, um, and Epan's obviously really good with people that can slow. I know John can stun. I'm not sure if he can slow, but someone's bound to have a slow. Um, while being quite defensive as a character, would also put out a lot of a lot of damage. I quite like her. She's she's a lot more slow and methodical than some of the others, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Get him in a uh, bit of a choke, choke point. Oh, and she makes everyone. Uh, she makes all the potions better as well. Yeah, she just seems really strong as a character. I feel. Oh, they can't be slowed. Okay. Uh, so we had a Healy Shrine before, this is crit. So we can save that crit one, take it for the boss. Thought I might be able to interact with this uh, skeleton, but sadly no. Oh yeah, these assholes. Alright. <clears throat> we got a bit of a... Bit of a dude. Okay, this guy's a bit of a bitch, actually. Tony's dying, so I gotta go. Happy gaming, love you. No worries, Naomi. Take care. See you tomorrow. 
Uh, what does this do? Primary attacks burn enemies with fire. We'll save that for the boss as well. That move seems a bit meh. Maybe it's because I haven't leveled up yet, I don't know. Because it's got quite a, quite a, quite a wind up, which makes me think that you're not meant to just use it like that as a one off little thing. You're just meant to channel it. But, um,. The damage on it isn't huge, but it is at level 1. I fucking hate these sand badges that are just going ch -ch 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 -yah! the whole time. These, these things, these pinky, orangey things. Like, they don't really do much apart from sound fucking annoying. Uh, we got eight nubbins as well, without a shop yet. Speaking of which, this might be a shop. Nope, but it's safety. Gotta go, good luck with the rest of the stream. No worries, mouse, take care. A mask of the wise god. Gotta find that boss mob. I think it went up this way. I was wrong. There it is. Oh shit. That was done. Why did none of them hit it? I mean, this is cheating, but... I guess it's not cheating if the game lets you do it. It's not... particularly fair. Uh, it's nine nubbins. This is a... movement speed. We can take that now. Um, yeah, you definitely can't slow these guys. Ooh, he blew up. Uh, we only got one level, so we're not going to be able to buy anything to get next, uh, the next tier. So let's not worry too much about that. I can't interact with that.
Uh, we do have a health shrine, I believe. So we should be okay health-wise to take on the boss. Um, should we... Oh, what is this? Ferocious enemies do reduce damage. Grants you a shield which will protect you from a certain amount of damage. Okay, so the, the shield is a forever. Protects you for a certain amount. So we may as well come back for that later as well. Um... Yeah, if we... If we complete this level, then we get we go to the third area of the game. Which would be good, but I... Don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We will find out. Where was all that purple? Yeah, purple shit's coming from somewhere. Rage potion I don't need. There you are. Okay, boss room. Do we have a bonus on the other side? We do. We have the shop. Perfect, because we got nine nubbins. Uh, and he's got an exclamation mark. A tenth nubbin. How much of the map have we got through? Not quite all of it. Okay, so what do we got? We've got inflict fire damage upon performing an evade. Inflict lightning damage upon performing, performing an evade. I wonder what happens if you buy both of them. Uh, decrease rage drain. Rerolls runes. Oh yeah, we don't have any runes. I just realized. We haven't got any upgrades whatsoever this, this trip. Um, <coughs> what we could do is we could buy two of these. Wait, how much do these cost? Three, 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 two. Uh, so what's that? That's nine. That's uh, 11. If we can find one more nubbin. Because these aren't particularly useful. If we can find one more nubbin, we could buy all of these and then buy this and re-roll it and try and get something better. Um, I mean, we may as we may as well buy them now, though. So what happens if you buy that and then you buy this? It's both, okay. Uh, I'm not going to buy that because I may want to re-roll these because I mean it's not that useful we'll see we'll see if we can find one more nubbin and that's right we got the rune the flaming rune there and the crit chance one there and then up here I'm pretty sure we've got the healing one hold that thought yes Ok, 
Okay. In contending with the bandits, <clears throat> Adam and his group encountered the black substance again. I don't think there's much more to explore. Yeah, that does fuck all. If we don't, if we can't find another nubbin, we'll just re-roll those two. <laughs> Get crit. Ooh. Rerolls runes. No, we don't want that. See what this is. Power oh, it's free. Surged from the object in Who the missile the large? Uh, so hang on. That's a 35 second cooldown. Oh, we can take both. That's right. And that's a very short cooldown. Okay. I gotta remember to use it there. All right. That looks like everything. I don't think we're gonna find nubbins anywhere. So let's get, um, let's use our shield thing. Let's heal up. Probably should have done that last in case I take like a little bit of damage from one of these shots or a purple asshole like this spawns. But whatever. Oh, a nubbin. Oh wait, we got five nubbins? I don't know what's going on. We're getting nubbins left, right and center. Um, we want to take this, the boss room's here, so I'm going to walk across to buy stuff. So that costs three and that costs two, right? We got five nubbins. Okay, perfect. And then this just re-rolls them. Oh, rerolls runes. I misread. I thought it. Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tooltip. I could have done that before when I was asking if I could. I misread completely. Uh, primary attacks have a chance to conjure Mark's punch of concentration. I mean, that's probably better. So we have two shitty dodge thingies. Um, our rage goes down less. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We don't want to spend too much time in here because, uh... We've got the crit thing going on. He's going to give us a health potion we don't need. Yep. Alright. See if I can remember what this is all about. The tree of prosperity was withered after twisting away Raya's room. Did we find this before? Maybe we didn't. No, we didn't. We cleared the other level. That's what it was. Okay, so we might do this. Hmm. Do I need to kill these before I can hit the tree, maybe? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I need to take down the, uh, 
the roots first. Which is kind of difficult when he's spawning the other shit. Oh god, that hurt. What makes it harder is you can't stand still because he summons bullshit underneath underneath you. Although, if you can, uh... If you can get rid of them, he leaves himself open for attack. Half the battle with first-time boss fights is learning the mechanics. So, I think we're doing alright, actually. Now he's open. Fuck. I need health bots! I need them so bad! Yes! What? 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 What just happened? Okay, you can't hurt him when he's like that. I should save that, um, E move for when he puts his things out. Or when he's in this mode, actually. One of the two. Like this. And then just murder him. Hi, bitch! So close! Nice. Man, that was pretty clutch. That was, uh, <laughs> not convincing, but still, first time, not bad. Uh, we'll take that, and we'll take... No time to waste. Mary was waiting. Medicinal seeds for Mary. Yeah, she's uh she's pretty good. As I said, a lot slower. Like the fire chick does way more damage. But she's uh she's pretty safe and stuff. Pretty good. A sip of the potion was enough for Mary to open her eyes and for John to exhale with relief. Unbidden, pain shot up Mary's spine and filled her eyes. Something other than her illness. The baby was coming. It was time. 
Is it going to be a demon baby though? Suddenly still, Mary's sickness had made them forget that the ravenous mountain god was after their baby. Curses. What's Uncle Ben? The Black Altar had come alive with an ominous will. Even Rhea's light couldn't keep it at bay, couldn't delay the evil of the sacrifice forced upon them. When John held her for the very first time, she was crying the song of life. Life was all that went through her father's mind. How he wished that he could give his own life instead of his babies, but his life was worthless to the cruel god. Mary burst into tears. She feared that John was going to give up their baby to save the world. A world that at this moment was worth nothing at all to her. What about her other kids? I mean, yeah, but... What chance did the Bergsons <laughs> have against this monstrous cruelty of an immortal god? What a rotten fate that had doomed them to this destiny. How could John accept this heinous cycle of looming apocalypse and child sacrifice? His whole body shook from the conflict inside him. Every glance from his family was like a mortal wound to his heart. Would they let hope die this day? This could not be the end. No. Grandma had already sacrificed herself for them. There would be no more sacrifices. Oh shit. Big Johnny boy. Together, they were going to break that cycle and defeat unjust fate. And the look in their eyes became one of resolve. For life, for hope. Okay. So... I can't remember what it's it's been so long I can't remember what we were saving for. Um That's more money. XP. Oh. Is this divine relic cooldown? Gemstone drop rate. This is still locked. Rage gain rate. Maybe some dodge might be good. Take less damage. Can't hurt. 10%. It's not too bad. Okay. Uh, let's see what this says. Would their decision bring even more of the mountain gods' corrupted wrath upon them? They worried together, but each time they looked at Hope and saw her smile, resolve and belief in a better future would ease their worry. An apt name for the child? Thank you. 
Was not defending their home more important than saving yet another spirit? Was there any other way to defeat Wu? Many questions remained without answers. They knew of no other way than freeing Anai Saruma, the third and final spirit, the spirit of dreams, one who could answer more of their questions. Okay, so each of these areas had three areas in them, one of three, etc. three out of three. This one had three out of three. Is this going to be the, the same? Industrial district of Terra Lava, no, only two. A city with no okay. time for daydreams. Where machines continued tinkering away and Ane Sarava's chamber resided. Let's give it one go. And if we die in the first five minutes, so be it. If we get all the way through it, so be it. Um, we'll give it we'll give it just the one go. Um, she's fatigued. Let's go Lucy. I gotta remember what her deal is though. Uh, the tornado, that's right. As long as she hasn't been touched, she gets... Oh yeah, that's that's pretty cool. A decoy that distracts. Um... Her rage ability wasn't that great. Enemies killed by primary attacks have a chance to explode in fire. I'm gonna get this. So as long as she hasn't been hit for a while, she gets a free shield thingy. Um, the longer you attack, the more little missiles come out the side. Her right click is a tornado. Uh, that costs mana. Um, so as long as you have the mana, you can do it. Her left shift is the decoy thing. And her rage is... She goes Super Saiyan like everyone else, basically. Uh, which wasn't that amazing from memory. She gets like a fire beam, but it didn't do much damage. I think you need to put more points into the, the rage things for them to be super useful. Um, but anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, Cyclone pulls in enemies more forcefully. Sure. Oh, how many levels does this have? Three levels, okay. Nothing? Now, does this hurt or does it just push you back? It just pushes you back. Okay. They can't hit me. Uh, oh, okay. That's what that does. So you could definitely use that to um screw over others. Four steps were to be taken in the correct order.
Ow. I just need to run around and not take damage to get my shields back. Or run into a thing that I saw coming. That also works. Uh, destruction of decoys summons... Right out. Okay. Just wait till we get our third shield. There we go. One. Not one, two. As far as I know, that stuff doesn't actually hurt you. It just slows you. I think. I mean, it didn't take one of our shields away, so... Okay, one. Three. Oh wow, that took away all of my shields? What the hell? Doesn't seem right. got a banana uh increased crit hit chance okay so before my crit hit chance is 6.2 10 percent it's pretty good more than double uh could use some health try and kill something with that. I'm sure you can. Oh god. Why is that my- oh it's control not Q. do that much damage. I don't really do much of anything. What's this do? Uh, turn own gemstones into something. Into morph. Probably want to keep our gemstones. Okay, you can definitely use that to kill things. Is this great or something? These little blobs are kind of irritating to fight as a caster. Great, uh, rage regenerates. Okay. Uh, that's one skill point. It's not going to get us far. Uh, 
Okay. So it's nice and open. I feel like this is going to be a mini boss fight of sorts. Yeah, one of these uh, escort thingies. Okay, can apply to him as well. That's interesting. Got his little... his nubbin? Okay, uh, return to maximum health at the start of a new floor. Sweet. It's a good one. Means no matter what will be full health when we go, if we get to the boss room. This place is huge. It looks like there's a little offshoot here. Somewhere. On the mini map. See those pixels there? Oh well. Not too much left to this level, but there are three levels, so there is definitely bigger. Uh, on destruction decoy slows nearby enemies. Destruction of the decoy summons Mark's Guardian Fist. Um, we'll keep the fist. Only if they destroy it. Right. I just thought like on on destruction I thought like when it ends, but it's only if they destroy it. Still, that's good though. These enemies, yes, they are. Oh, shit. Hmm. 
Who's this? Experience. I don't know how many more enemies are on this level. I don't really want to waste an experience shrine. Okay, that's the end. Fire evade. Take the nub in there. There's enough enemies. Okay, I can probably do something with two level ups, but I'll wait until uh, One held I finish with the experience trying two first. Two hid ferocious creatures. It was the lady or the tiger or the Bergson. Handy. What is this? Create an area that will slow and damage enemies. That's what what's her face needs. Uh, Panna. No, a pawn. A pawn. <laughs> All right, we can look at our skills now. Uh, we do have two level ups, so we can choose something. I'm gonna save and get the next level of Cyclone. Cyclone's pretty good. I think that might be the end of the level there. Looks like it. Is that so, Sus? Uh, I believe you're the only one here. I'm not sure. William might still be here, actually. I'm not sure. Okay, level one cleared. The enemies are not too bad. So far, at least. Screen tearing, however. Can only stay for two minutes, no worries. I'm sure that does a lot more damage to us than it does them. What is this? There's a rabbit. The machine chugged, but water never surfaced. Stuck behind two inoperative pumps out of reach. The man warned that both pumps needed to be activated soon after each other. Okay, so we got a timed thing. Still, damn it. Ah! 
How did that hit me? Some of these hitboxes are questionable. Troll is the one I want. What the? Why is it? Okay, that was... That was weird. <laughs> okay, so see ya. At least we can cheese this somewhat. Okay, so that's the first... Right, so we can't go on to the second one and then come back. We have to do this and then speed round it to the next one. One activated. Now to the other in haste. Oh my god. This is where I needed my Q, even though it's not that good. To the first pump to the side. Fuck. Okay. Well, once this is dead. I wonder if that's going to have a growth on it when we come back. Because if it does, there's no way we're doing that. We'll just get our shields back before we move, move on. Same thing, wait for the shields. The first machine began to move. That's impossible! Oh! Time had run out, and the Berks had oh. to start anew. I didn't stand on it. Eee! Hmm. Okay. Oops. I need to kill some dudes to get um rage mode back. Some, um, health would be good too. Okay, we got... We got rage mode. Let's see. The first machine began to move. I got stuck. to start again the first machine began to move <laughs> done immediately <laughs> yeah i don't think i don't think you're doing that 
um, either solo or without a few upgrades under your belt. Uh, we didn't have much to go by then, but it was worth a try. Um, anyway, there's like no one in chat, so um, the, the stream was basically to nobody, which is fine. Uh, but you know, it's more fun streaming two people. So we'll, we'll finish off there. Just a quick, uh, one hour episode. Uh, we did get that boss down though. First try, which was good. Uh, we got to the new zone. It looks like there's this zone. There might be some shadow zone afterwards. I don't know, but there's three main ones and we're to the, we just got to the third one. Um, obviously this one, and there's only two areas to it. Uh, but then there's the whole shadow beast thing that we just told to fuck off rather than give our um firstborn to our um most recent baby to so we'll sorry um yeah so i'm not sure if there's going to be another zone after this or not um we'll have to wait and see but we've only got two if this is the last zone we've only got two areas left uh so if we did a you know three hour stream we might be able to finish this um up then which would be good because uh it's always good to um get a thing get a playlist a a game done um rather than it taking weeks to get back to as it has with this because things have come up and, and all the rest of it so I, I like to finish stuff when if i start it so getting this finished would be good um, because it's a good game and, and definitely, definitely worth playing. And eventually, as I said before, when they do proper co-op, online co-op, where you can play with another friend on Steam and not the remote play crap that lags like crap, uh, I would definitely be 100% up for playing this co-op with Joel or Dead or whoever and doing the whole thing as co-op. Because I think, I think for co-op, it's, it, it's probably more fun co-op, even though Joel was lagging and everything and, uh, he had was playing it like 480p with like a thousand ping and stuff. Like it was still fun doing it together. So anyway, that is it. We'll see how we go, whether we finish it or not next stream, whatever that may be. But uh, hopefully it will be soon. So not leaving you waiting because I knew those, I know there's a few people watching this on YouTube. Anyway, that's it. No more rambling from me. I will see you all later on. Okay, bye.